Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell from the title of this video, today's video is all about my August new releases. As you guys know, I do have an Etsy sticker shop where it is that I sell budget kits as well as financial trackers. So for today, I'm going to be showing you guys the August colored kits. Now, as you guys may or may not know, I do currently offer four different sizes for all of my stickers and those are for the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner in both the 7x9 size as well as the 8.5 by 11. I also do offer the Petite Monthly Planner by Erin Condren size which is also the A5 size. So if you guys have an A5 planner that size should definitely fit in there. And then last but not least I recently came out with Hobonichi Kit size stickers. Now, I've sort of been debating whether I want to keep making the Hobonichi Kit stickers. I have gotten people who purchase the Hobonichi Weeks kits, but I would like to know if the demand for it is high enough for me to keep making them just because as you guys know everything and all the things that I make are pretty time consuming and in order for me to come out with a new releases video like this on a monthly basis it does take a lot for me to design to print and cut every single size and then make extras to lay down in my planners and show you guys so go ahead and let me know what planner it is that you guys use as your budget planner as you guys know I use the 7x9 size which is the one that I'm actually going to start with so just a little sneak peek as you guys can see from the colors is going to be a very yellow with touches of two different colors in particular so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to start with the two washi kits that i picked all the colors from so the first one that I have here is this really pretty one. As you guys know, I absolutely love red. So I definitely wanted to include more of me in these washi kits from now on. Um, this one's a really cute one. It has floral prints, which I don't know if you guys can see. Most of the flowers have sort of like a glitter outline between them. I don't know if you guys can see too, too well. I'm trying to zoom in as much as I can. But that's just what it looks like. It has a variation of yellow, orange, and my favorite red flowers. So that's for the big two washes as well as the small one. And my washi kits do come with two thick washies and three thin washies. The other variation of washi is just a gold glitter, which I think looks beautiful with the kits. Then for the other washi kit that I am offering for this month, I went ahead and went with something a little bit different. I definitely wanted to include some lemons in my kits and I decided to do it with this different kind of lemon kit. Um, I had seen a bunch of lemon kits but this one is just the right amount of lemons I think with the inclusion of different colors like um, as you guys can see it has lemons in there as well as pink and purple flowers and then it even has some lavender flowers in there which I thought was super super beautiful so as you guys can see these are kind of different but they definitely still go with the whole yellow theme and I will show you guys always at the end of the video how they look in the planners which I just I'm super in love with both of these prints and I always talk about this. I feel like every time I come up with a new kid, I just fall in love with it and this month is no exception. So those are the two washi kits. Now I am going to show you guys because you guys know that I do have two variations of colorways. So for this one, this is how all the trackers are going to look. You have the yellow with the purple scripts and as you guys can see this is my weekly check-in. So this is what's going to be with this washi kit. Of course you guys can mix and match. You don't have to stay within those lines but I do like to give you those options just in case you guys would like to be super matchy matchy totally up to you i love to be matchy matchy to be honest this is a weekly check-in for the floral one super cute of course with the red there then i do have my budget kits this is for the seven by nine once again and as you guys know i do i want to bring the brightness just a little bit down so you guys can see the true color i feel like sometimes it is a little bit bright um so i'm so sorry about that so this is the bill slash expenses, but as you guys know, I also do offer my budget kits and the variable expenses and fixed expenses separated. And those are the two budget formats that I do currently offer for the 7x9 and 8.5x11. I don't offer these different formats for the smaller sizes just because of size constraint. But these are the ones that you can choose for the 7x9 and 8.5 by 11 and then I'm just going to show you guys the budget kit for the floral print super cute once again bills and expenses and then variable and fixed expenses separated super super adorable I love it then we have the sinking funds this one is for the lemon kit 
and the sinking funds for the floral kit. Then we're going to go ahead and move on to my trackers. I have variable income tracker, spending tracker, debt snowball, debt tracker, as well as I do have debt avalanche, which you guys will see right now in the bigger size. I don't think I got, I printed it in the smaller size. Then variable income for the floral kit, spending tracker, debt snowball, debt tracker, and now I do want to go ahead and mention these because I did make a, I kind of reformatted just a tiny bit. I went ahead and just added one thing to my paycheck stickers. The reason why I did this is because I've been getting a lot of feedback from my paycheck to paycheck budgeters, which you guys know that I do a monthly budget. So I do appreciate all the feedback that I get from you guys because you guys are the ones that are using these stickers in your planners. And I went ahead and as you guys can see, added one more strip and that strip and all of my paycheck stickers are going to be for the income. I wanted to go ahead and just add this small strip of income just because I know sometimes you guys want want to be able to see exactly how much income that paycheck brought in in that same spread instead of just looking at your monthly view. So I thought it would be perfect to just add that income little header strip. The price is going to stay the same for all the paycheck stickers, so don't worry. Um, this is not going to increase the price in any way, but you guys are going to have one more strip in here. So before it was just the bills, expenses, and totals section, but now I did add the income header to that. So I hope you guys appreciate that. I've been getting a lot of feedback for that. So this is first paycheck, second paycheck. As you guys can see, all the paychecks have that income header strip now. And fourth paycheck, that is for the red floral print. And then we have first, second, third, and fourth for the lemon kit. Now, this is all of my stickers for the 7 by 9 size. I'm quickly going to show you guys the bigger sizes, although it is exactly the same thing. I don't want to make this video too long because I do want to go ahead and show you guys how these look in my planner. So we have the lemon floral kit, which I think this is so beautiful, guys. And I just love this so, so much. Um, and then we have the floral kit. These are both the budget kits that I offer. The two variations and this one is for the lemon kit then once again we have the weekly check-in in both of those colorways sinking funds and then we have this is what i'm talking about the debt avalanche in both of the colors that snowball the tracker once again the snowball the tracker and then we have the spending tracker and variable income in both of those colorways and then of course we have our paychecks so fourth third second and first and once again i did add that income header there for all of the different sizes that i offer second and first so those are the 8.5 by 11 size next i want to show you guys the petite planner size slash a5 this one is the lemon washi kit the floral kit weekly check-in i'm going really quickly now because it's exactly the same thing and then once again for the petite size as well as hobonichi weeks you can only get this format which is the bills expenses format just because of science constraint that's the lemon one, the floral kit, sinking funds in both sizes. And then we have the paychecks, third, second, and first with that income header. And fourth, third, second, and first for the floral kit. And then we have, of course, that snowball, that tracker, and spending, that tracker, that snowball, and spending. That is for the petite slash a5 size and next last but not least my hobonichi size which is so super cute you have the floral kit let me zoom in one tiny bit more that's really zoomed in but that's cute so we have the floral kit the lemon kit the budget kit for both of them sinking funds the paychecks which once again the income header has been added to these first and then in the red color, red with the yellow color, second, first. And then, of course, we have our debt snowball, debt tracker, spending tracker, debt snowball, debt tracker, and spending tracker for the red with yellow shade. And then last but not least, this one is for the Hobonichi size. And then last but not least, 
I do want to go ahead and show you guys my last new releases, which is what I like to release every single month, which are my Build Do stickers in the color of my kit. Now, these are what these look, and these match my budget kit perfectly. I also do offer these Build Do stickers in the Erin Condren color for um, August. So go ahead and check these or the other ones out. I do have the other ones in my shop already. And by the time that you guys are watching this video, all these new releases are up on my shop. So um, without any further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys how they look in the planner so you can go ahead and get your shopping on. Okay, starting with the 7x9 planner that I have, I have here the Flora Washi kit as well as the budget kit that correlates with that and i do have the variable and fixed expenses separated here which is the one that i use in every single one of my monthly budget videos so that's what this looks like i love 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 how this looks and then on the other side i have the variable income so that's how that looks in with the floral washi okay so this is how the sinking funds and transaction log looks in the um 8.5 by 11 size and this is obviously with the washi kit the floral washi kit then moving on to our budget kit this is how the lemon washi kit looks with the purple and yellow budget kit i absolutely love how there's this perfect space here to put the script sticker in oh, super super in love with this kit super in love with all of the print to be honest for this month then this is how the weekly check-in looks with that same pattern the lemons with um, pink and purple flowers weekly check-in which comes with the page flags and the little script stickers to cover the weeks if you like and then last but not least i have my first paycheck here so as you guys can see i separated the income from the expenses so this is basically how my monthly budget looks but now we have the income header in all the paycheck um, stickers and i thought that this would be the most ideal thing to do because you guys have been asking um, for me to add an income script sticker and stuff like that so I decided to add that onto there and then last but not least i have my hobonichi weeks which i'm just going to zoom in just a tiny bit for this okay so this is how the lemon um kit looks with the budget kit for the hobonichi size as you guys can see it fits perfectly inside of here you have the sinking funds and transaction log then on the other side you have your first paycheck and once again we have split the income from the bills you have a little dead snowball sticker here and on this side the spending tracker which i know a lot of you guys use this when you guys are not using the weekly check-in sticker kit so that is pretty much all that i have for this month's new releases i really hope you guys enjoyed if you guys have requests for any new stickers that you guys would like to see in my sticker shop go ahead and let me know because i am going to be releasing stickers more frequently now so I am taking requests. I think I have a couple of requests from people that I'm still working on. So if you have any other stickers that you guys would like to see in my sticker shop, go ahead and let me know. That is pretty much all that I have for this video. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. Like I mentioned, all these stickers that you see here are now available in my sticker shop. So go ahead and check down below for the link to that. I hope you guys have an amazing day and enjoy these new releases. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.